guys, welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom, and I'm Kendall Lawrence. And I literally just came in from the grocery store. Um, I told you in the last couple of videos that I'm home on the holiday break and I've been cooped up in the house all day long and wanted something warm to eat and couldn't think of anything that I had here that I really wanted. And my son asked me for some goulash um, uh, earlier this week and I thought, well, that would be great because it's kind of chilly today. And so I ran out to the grocery store and got all my ingredients and I'm going to go take off my coat and get myself washed up and um, we'll take a look at our ingredients. Okay. Okay, so here are our ingredients. I have some corkscrew, corkscrew pasta here. Um, I have a large bell pepper and two small white onions. I have about three pounds of ground beef. That seems like a lot, but I'm feeding three big hungry guys and myself and i've got three 10 ounce cans of rotel one can is hot and one two cans are original and i've got about a cup of white wine i have um some crushed garlic to taste i've got a little bit of the spanish um smoked paprika that's hot i have some tomato sauce this is a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce i have a little bit of sugar a little touch of sugar there some onion powder some seasonal some italian seasoning and i'm gonna put some onion uh, garlic powder out there too okay so i'll meet you at the stove i'm getting ready to get my my meat ground up or browned up i'm sorry it's already ground up but browned up Okay, so I'm in the process of browning my ground beef, um, or my this is ground chuck, 8119. So it's going to need to be drained, and it's still got a little bit of pink in there. But as soon as that little bit of pink is cooked out, which will be in a minute or so, I'm going to drain this, and then I'm going to add my onions and my green peppers and cook them until they've softened up. And we'll continue from there. Okay, so my green pepper and onion and I also threw in my chopped up garlic I forgot to mention that it has cooked sufficiently to, you know, until the onion is pretty much translucent so I'm going to add about two tablespoons of onion powder two tablespoons of my seasonal two tablespoons of my Italian seasoning and I did not even get my garlic powder out but another two tablespoons of that and about a tablespoon of uh, a tablespoon of my um, Spanish hot smoked paprika all right, so I've got all my spices in here, and of course I'm going to taste as I go along and adjust as I need to. So I've got my, I tried to get my tomatoes open and so that I could get them in the pot, and my can opener just died on me in the middle, and I can't get it unhooked from here. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to go commando on these cans and get all my tomato sauce um, into the pot, and I'll come right back. Okay. So I've managed to get just about everything out of there. And this thing isn't coming off, but it's it's completely dead anyway. So I'm just going to throw the, the can opener in the can in the trash um, when I get done with this last little bit. So I'm going to stir this, give this a stir. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll throw in my white wine, my, about a cup of white wine. And stir this all up. And I'll put in a pinch of sugar. And I'm going to get this all stirred up. And I'm going to let this just simmer for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to work on my pasta. Um, I'm going to put my corkscrews on. And I'm going to cook it about two minutes less. Or maybe three minutes less than what it calls for in the package. So some people like to just put it directly into the sauce. But I like to be able to gauge it so that I can maybe have the right pasta to sauce ratio. So I'll be back. Okay, hey, so this has been simmering along for a little bit and I uh, got my corkscrew pasta cooked. Um, I cooked it according to package directions, except the package called for it to be cooked for eight to uh, nine minutes. And I cooked it for six because I'm going to add it to the sauce mixture here. And then I'm going to let it cook for a few more minutes until desired tenderness. Okay, so... I've gotten everything, all my, everything is in the pot now. I've got my pasta in the pot. And again, I cooked this less than direct, less than the package suggests that you cook it. So I'm just going to put the lid on it and I have the stove on simmer. And I'm going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes and it should be done. We'll test it. Okay, we are done here. And here is the final result of our American goulash. 
think it looks pretty doggone good. I'm ready to dig in. And so I just simmered it for about another seven or eight minutes. And oh yeah, off camera, before I put in the um, the pasta, the corkscrews, I, um, I tasted it to see if I needed to do any additional seasoning. And I thought it could use a little bit of um, Worcestershire sauce. I added a couple of tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and another little pinch of sugar and a dash of salt and it it's perfect to me right now. Okay, so let, let me taste it for you. I love these corkscrew pastas. Hot. It's delicious. It's comforting. And I was so on point about that um, Worcestershire sauce. Hmm. That's just what I what I needed, guys. If you're looking for a good comfort food meal to eat this fall and winter, anytime soon before the holidays, after the holidays, make this American goulash and that hot smoky paprika. Wow. Okay. Really, really good. Thanks for coming back and visiting with me again. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And if there's anything that you'd like me to do on this channel, please let me know um, because I want you to keep coming back. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and go feed your family. Bye-bye.